Hi everybody and welcome to La Oficina de Gavin HR. Yes, I am in the workplace and uh, I'm wanting to bring you this video because DJI have launched a new version of their flight app. This is version 1.5.1, build number 2005 for Android. Now there has been a little bit of confusion um, around these actual updates for Android. And the reason for that is because the previous version that you could actually download was build number 1855. And what basically happened is after that version, um, the two in-between updates which have come on that 1.5.1 range, similar to the builds 1870 and 1980, they was within app updates. So basically you open up your DJI Fly app and then it prompts you that there was an update available. I mean, I have reviewed these fully on the channel and I saw very, very little difference. Some of the same problems remain, some were slightly fixed. So with this one, of course, like I said, it is downloadable from the DJI site. So all you need to do is go to the DJI download page hit that button and you will see the version it's going to try and download is 2005. All you need to do is go ahead, follow the on-screen instructions, and of course that will be the version that is installed. Now many of you know that I host all of the Android APK files for the DJI Fly app, so if you want to install it from this video for convenience, all you need to do is pop to the link in the video description and of course you can access the files on my Google Drive to download it directly from there. So that's just a little bit more convenient for you. So when it comes to these recent updates, there has been quite a development. Basically Google have launched their Android 12 operating system and that has wreaked absolute havoc for Samsung owners and Google Pixel owners alike. And basically with myself being currently my, with my device on Android 11 I do not currently have those problems so unfortunately when it comes to this video I cannot actually replicate to see whether they're fixed or not however I have done a community post um, and spoken to a few friends that have got this problem with the black screen when it comes to the DJI Fly app um, and just to throw it out there straight from the for the offset it does appear that them problems when it comes to having that black screen does actually remain with this version. Now, like I said, this is just a quick video on how to install and to raise awareness that this update is here. Um, I've not actually had any feedback to say that there is anything different with this update. Of course, if you guys want me to do it, I will, of course, go and do the flight test, which I usually do, just to make sure everything is working correctly and just scroll through the menus uh, on the Mavic, uh, Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, and the Air 2S, just to see for any, any new updates, really but as far as I'm being made aware through my sources there is absolutely nothing new so it could be something that is just a stability fix but also there is also nothing for iOS users as well so yeah just wanted to as I say raise awareness on the video and let you know that this update was available two places you can install it from DJI directly off on my link and just to give you the, the, the bad news hopefully for some of you it might fix, I do not know. Uh, like I said, I cannot replicate the problem myself because I'm not on that Android 12 operating system. But those of you that I have spoken to, and thank you very much for your feedback, doesn't seem to have fixed anything. So that wraps up the video. If you do have a experience with this latest version and you've got any comments to make, please do feed them back in the section below. I do read all of them and try to respond as much as possible. If you do fancy watching some of my other content, I'm going to leave a couple of cards here. Uh, so you can just click them and uh, you might find something entertaining to watch for the afternoon. Failing that, I will uh, follow up with a flight update if you guys want to see it. And until then, thank you very much. See you again soon.